Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I decided to put this video out for those subscribing uh, for my PC gaming adventures over the years. Recently, I just built a new computer to catch up with the times 2019, 2020, and hopefully uh, future-proof myself for the next several years. Pretty excited about the build. So this build isn't anything groundbreaking. Uh, I mean, the Intel i9 9900 series has been out for just over a year. However, I did pick up the 9900 uh, KS series that just came out about two months ago, October of 2019. Uh, take that, put it together with the latest uh, video card 2080 Ti, 11 gig, and uh, the newer SSDs, NVMe, uh, M.2, and uh, gameplay experience performance is just uh, significantly better than my previous build, which was more of a generation four CPU build, the i7-4790. Here's a pic um, of the build, minus the video card. Um, booted it up, wanted to make sure it posted the BIOS. Um, everything was fine, pumps running, fans are running, and uh, nothing has, has exploded yet, and hopefully it never will. And here's a pic uh, of the system in 100% completion. Uh, video card installed, everything's up and running, lights are going. Uh, very happy with the build. All right, so I have uh, received a few comments uh, in the recent months uh, asking what type of setup I'm using these days to game and fly on uh, DCS World. Uh, I do have the Thrustmaster Hotas had that for just over eight years it's going strong no complaints nothing is broke um, super happy with the uh, craftsmanship granted uh, I haven't made any modifications to it it's just a straight-up uh, flight stick and uh, throttle system I know a lot of guys like mod their stuff but I'm not I'm really not into that kind of stuff uh, those are on the mounts called the Fox mounts they attach right to the desk um, easy to move around. Excellent uh, craftsmanship and build. Uh, check out their website, foxmount.com. Uh, it's a uh, individual, private owner, some guy out there in uh, New Hampshire. Does a great job. Highly recommended. Um, I do have the uh, Oculus Rift S. Um, got that several months ago. Uh, great addition. Uh, to uh, DCS World or just about any flight sim out there. And as you can see, I've also got the, uh, at the bottom, just below the desk, got the CH Pro pedals. Had that for a while as well. All right, as a bonus, I thought I'd throw in a picture of my previous gaming setup. This was from uh, several years ago. Uh, you can find the video um, in my channel if you dig back to about uh, March, April of 2015. It's the Obato Gaming Cockpit. Uh, I was running uh, triple monitors, 27 inch, track IR, great for flight sims, uh, PC racing, uh, sim racing as well. I could sit in that seat all day long, it was super comfortable. Uh, this was all well before uh, VR was even on the horizon. Um, but once uh, VR started coming, becoming more, more and more popular, I kind of knew I was gonna go down that route. And it kind of made sense. Um, I mean, a setup like this just takes up a ton of space. Uh, the footprint is massive, especially, you know, especially when you're running you know, three monitors. Um, it's actually, I think, wider than it was uh, longer. Um, so it just made sense just to kind of downsize and keep it simple with VR. Thanks for tuning in today and watching today's video. Please drop a comment, smash that like button, and or subscribe. Talk to you later. See ya.